One thing I would like to say is San Pedro is back to life and it's so nice to see. The last time I was here it was so dead. Today there is a lot of activities and it's, I'm happy. I think um, it will help the locals as well because most of the locals rely on tourism and stuff like that. So it's nice to see that there's a lot of activities going on. So that, that, that is the highlight of my visit today. So on the day that I went snorkeling at the Ho Chan Marine Reserve, I decided to find out from local tour guides how the pandemic affected their lives. Crazy, I didn't work for almost a year. My name is Mickey, keep watching. Mickey here, welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working which at the moment is Belize in Central America. We are in beautiful San Pedro and in this video I am going to find out from local tour guides how the pandemic affected their jobs and their lives. But before I continue on I would like to say if you are new and you like to share my experience or you'd like to know how you can experience these places yourself please consider subscribing and coming on my journey. Thank you very much. Now let's go. One thing I would like to say is San Pedro is back to life and it's so nice to see. The last time I was here it was so dead and um, today there is a lot of activities and it's, I'm, I'm happy I think um, it will help the locals as well because most of the locals rely on tourism and stuff like that. So it's nice to see that there's a lot of activities going on. So that, that, that is the highlight of my visit today actually. I was told to meet my tour guide at the Amigo Del Mar, a local diving company, where I got a chance to meet Eddie and his friends. Edmund. Edmond. So Edmond here is very friendly. Edmond works with Amigos Del Mar. Um, maybe you can book your tours through them. I'm sure when you go on the internet and you Google it, you can see something about them. Oh, okay. So you, you, you are a, dri um, a diving instructor. Yeah. Well. Oh, he is. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Edison um, Alonso over there. It's a diving instructor, and if you book with them, they can teach you how to dive over here. And when you become so confident of the water and you become so confident of your equipment, they can take you out on the sea and then they can give you some nice diving expedition. Um, this is something I would like to do one day. So let's see if um, the opportunity comes around. I'm waiting for my boat to come and pick me up. Approaching the wrong boat, thinking it was my tour boat, I decided to engage the tour guide about the pandemic. Yeah, so um, I, I saw you drop some passengers over here. Well, where, where did you come from? We came from Kikaka. It's a lovely island. It's a south south of San Pedro. All right. Um, what we do? We just bring some people. Those three ladies right there. Um, so we're gonna pick up some more. We got seven of them coming. So it's gonna be like 13 of 12 of them. So afterwards we head to Shark and Ray Alley, um, swim with a lot of sharks from then we head to Key Carter Bank. Oh, all right. Then the evening they bring back the people again. Oh okay, so which, which tour is this one? This is from Mario Tours. Oh, so Mario Tours. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, alright. Yes. Oh, so are you going to take the same people back? Oh, they, this will be different people. Um, those three are going back. Oh, they will go back. We have maybe. another six, six of them are been leaving. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, okay. All right. So six of them are coming, but they're gonna come back in the evening time. Yeah. I want to ask you this question. Yes. When um, COVID happened, right? How did that affect your tour, and how did that affect you personally? Crazy. I didn't work for almost a year. Yeah. I didn't work for nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing. But because of the vaccine now, that's why and stuff. That's why we are here now. Oh, okay. Doing a little bit 
know, going yeah. a little bit early on. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, so things are picking up a yes, little yes, bit. Yes, 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 right. yes. I'm yes. happy to see that as well. All right. Uh, thank you very much. What's your name again? My name is Reef. Reef. Yeah, Reef. Right. Okay, it's nice meeting you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I. So as I said, um, definitely San Pedro is picking up and it's really nice to see. Um, coming here on the streets, there were a lot more cars going up and down and there is more activity which is good for the locals as I said most of them rely on tourism so it's really nice to see and I cannot wait to be part of this tour. Whilst I was having a chit chat my boat arrived and we set off to snorkel. So yes my boat is here and we are off and it's amazing that I'm not doing it alone I've got some people with me really nice people so yeah it's going to be good. So Bob is the one who is going to take us snorkeling. It was a beautiful day and snorkeling was fun. But as this video is about the pandemic and local tour guides, I will leave the details of snorkeling in another video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. You know when COVID happened, how, how were you surviving? Did you have anything else? Well, there was no We couldn't stop it. Just go look for a job, no job. Nobody is hiring me, so we want to do So, me and some friends, we used to go at night because they cannot see you all in the streets by the police officers. They're going to arrest you and charge you $5,000. So, we used to go at night and we used to live at 7, 6, 7. We go at night, close to the reef with a little canoe. And we go, go spear fishing. So around the neighborhood, they knew we were spear fishing. Yeah. Sometimes you, they used to go and buy some food from us. Or, that's how I survived. You survived. That's how I survived. The rest of the people, man. The rest of people that had shops, a pound of meat, six pounds of fifty a pound. These people raised it up for three dollars a pound. Yeah. That was yeah. really bad. So is it picking up now? Well, right now we have two ponds that already opened the border, so it's, it's getting higher. From working nine months without work yeah. to work three days for a week for my business. <laughs> yes. So yes. yeah, as as I was saying, when I came here, when I came here like Christmas, it was so dead. It was crazy, and yeah. it was so sad to see. No Christmas. Yeah. Too. The last year, no Christmas for us. Not Christmas. No, not turkey. Yeah. Not turkey. <laughs> Alright. Not turkey. At least it's good that things are picking up there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what was what's what's your tone name again? Top enough. Top enough. Top and enough where can tour. people book? Is it on Belizean.com? Yes. Just only on Belizean.com. Belizean All right. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Keep having fun. Enjoy yeah, your I will. Right. Oh, okay. You too. Yeah, see you later. See you. Welcome, everybody. You know it. Yeah. How are you doing? Are you? Are you? We went to Gulf Star, we work at Water Tank Simple, so we help out with that. Alright. There's something that I want to know, right? You know when COVID yeah. happened, how did it affect you? Man, we, we were like a whole year without a job, just sitting home, relaxing, just messed up. Oh. All the savings went down. Yeah. How did you survive? Well, I had some savings since I was working. I had a couple of thousand put up, but everything went down slowly. Right now we just gotta work out for everything now. But things are picking up now, yeah, right? Things are much better now. All right. Much, much better than first. I hope it keeps coming up. Alright, see you. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome, buddy. These are able-bodied individuals who struggled to survive when tourism ground to a halt during the pandemic. Now, what if you're a fiscally challenged individual getting by through the selling of your talent to tourists who because of the pandemic became non-existent? Meet Kurt, a right-handed artist who, after being paralyzed from a stab wound to the spine, had to relearn how to draw with his left hand in order to survive. How long have you been doing this? 16 years on my right hand and, and 13 in my left hand. Oh, all right. What, what happened to your right hand? I had a spinal injury. Oh, you had a spinal injury? Yeah. 
So you had to you had to learn to do with the opposite. Yeah, I learned to overcome disability using artwork. What's your name again? I'm Kurt. My name is Kurt, Kurt. Jason okay. Cruz. Okay. You got stabbed in the yeah. spinal cord. Yeah. Spinal cord. And I was right-handed for 28 years, but I had to switch six months after being paralyzed. And just by painting, lying down in in the bed six months after being paralyzed, I started to walk two years after just doing hard work. So the art is what helped me overcome the disability, right? Yeah. Art is amazing because it helps you out, right? Yeah, yeah. It helps you out spiritually, mentally, emotionally, yeah. even physically, right? This painting is gonna have a it's gonna have a scientist looking in outer space for another planet instead of protecting the earth which is in the center. Ah. The whole meaning of the painting is that we humans need to protect the earth. Instead of trying to find somewhere else. in outer space, right? Yeah. I have the reef and the sunset to represent the island. Yeah. Then the abstract part is me. I like doing abstract. Then I have the lagoon. Here I'm gonna put a forest with a waterfall. And here is gonna have a face of a scientist that's be looking in outer space and the hat is gonna have on a hat with a meaning behind it, a headdress, right? Yeah. Oh, so okay. most of the art is in most of it is off imagination. This imagination, one, the people yeah. gave me the pictures so I could paint this grouper, right? Oh okay. So most of the arts will have some sort of message to it. Yeah. Oh, the, the, okay. the, 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 the main message is that humans need to protect the earth. Alright. Oh, when we die, it's our world that then it's not the earth, right? Very true. Very true. Let you can see. bring your own picture yeah, you and could, then you could bring your yeah, picture and bring your picture and then you. he will paint it for you. And, or you could have one that I made on my own, right? Or something that he's already made. From what I'm looking at, he makes really good art. And you can find him at the Transylvania Video Store. Yeah. In front of that, you'll see Kurtz over here and he does amazing. Um, artwork. artwork. Yeah, really good. And it's good to, to meet the artist when you buy a painting, right? That is it. I'm the only one who do lo local art and paints on the street side. Okay. So it's amazing because when people go in an art gallery, they buy a painting and you don't see the painter. Good. Also, so I meet everybody that that, that buys my art. Oh, right. You know, everybody that buys the art you meet me. So that's okay. the experience you want, right? Yeah. You, you want to meet artists and meet the local people and, you know, buy the local art, right? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Kurt. Yes, thank you too. All right. Okay. Yes, Take care. All right. So you see, all these people are getting fed when you come to visit Belize. And it's a win-win situation. You come and you have a good experience, and you also help other people too. My quest ran into dark hours just to feel how the vibe was like in San Pedro. A video of nightlife in San Pedro is coming up, so make sure you keep watching. What are you selling? Huh? We're selling like hot dog, burger, burritos, tacos, and we have the barbecue and rice and bean of a tortilla well bean. Oh, okay. And pico de gallo, barbecue sauce, patas. You know, you know when COVID COVID happened, right? Yeah, it's that last year. It never were, were you still year. working? No. 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 We passed like one year lack of dough. Yeah. We didn't sell nothing. The car, the government not even no permit no right to come out. Yeah. Yeah. But, but this year, thank God, everything is. So it's coming up. It's coming up. Uh, by leave it. Thank God. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, really good. Ah, uh, Yeah. Oh, you you've got yours. <laughs> All right, I've got mine as well. Okay. We are going to hell. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. So yes, yeah, you can see the vibe now is actually better. Maybe it's not up to the peak. I'm sure it gets busier than this, isn't it? It, it do get busier than this. But at least this is better than what it used to be. So yeah, I'm happy. Um, as you can see, you can get a lot of like fast food, takeaway and stuff like that around here nice all right thank you very much oh yeah yeah Thursday, Friday and Saturday we got it confused at 12 o'clock 12 o'clock we have to move like a couple minutes before time oh okay <laughs> so is the market good now is the market good tonight you go hang till 12 o'clock 12 o'clock yeah oh all right Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Okay. So that like um. Chicken drop. They having a karaoke and so on. Are you 
Do you sing? I'm a karaoke guy too. Yes. But I'm Yesterday you were singing over there, right? <laughs> it was you. Where were you? I was, I was, I was, I was buying food. At the Kalinde? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I, you I, sang really good. I played on a, on Friday night, so I'm over there. All right. Tomorrow night I'm gonna be at Toast. All right. You know where Toast is? Toast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toast, 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 Toast. toast, toast. from Mahogany Bay. Yes. Have Mahogany Bay right across on the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the, the Royal Caribbean Resort. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, okay. So they. I'm gonna be there tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow is also going to be party, right? Right. Yeah. And so what, how how was it like when when the COVID, COVID just started? Yeah. It was really messed up, man. Yeah. <laughs> really really messed up. Bad, we everyone was out of job. Yeah. You know, we we happy now that it's getting back up. Yeah. How did you feel? And you know, you know what about this COVID? I believe that not only in Belize but uh, all over the world, right? You gotta take care of yourself. Yes. Because if you don't take care of yourself, who gonna take care of you? Yes. No doctor. Yes. No no prime minister. No president. Who's gonna take care of you. You gotta do it yourself, right? Yes. Why else do you use a mask? Why use a mask? So get the vaccine. I got yeah, my vaccine. You got your vaccine. I got my two vaccine and I'm I'm an asthma patient also. I, I have a bad lung. Oh, yeah. Over 20 years I have a bad lung, but I, I love to sing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy that yeah. you, you have a bad lung, but you like to sing. Yeah, and, and I feel good when I sing, you know? Yeah. I don't have the problem. Like two years ago, yeah. I, 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 my lungs collapsed on me. All right. And I was in a coma for over 20 hours. Really? Yeah. Can you come here? For over 20 hours I was in a coma. Yeah, oh. two years ago, yeah. my lungs collapsed on me and uh, they rushed me to the hospital here and that was in the afternoon. Yeah. I woke up the other day in Belize City, you know, and everyone was surprised, you know, they said, we thought we weren't going to make well, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I stay at overnight in the hospital in Belize and I tell them, man, I got to go back to San Pedro because I got to work. I gotta to say, hey, <laughs> no, we thank God for your life. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for your life. All right, I'm mm -hmm. just looking around. Yes, man. No okay. problem. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Stay strong. Cool. Yeah. All right. Honestly, I'm not sure how these amazing people manage to survive or keep their family going for nearly a year without working. But all I'll say is, if your job accorded you the privilege to work and get paid from the comfort of your home, then count yourself blessed. Something these wonderful people could only wish and dream for. But the positive thing is, they all came out stronger and more cheerful. I hope this video was useful. If so, please give it a like. Subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.